it is interesting to sort of uh, think back now, how did we become interested in making uh, music instruments or the way we like to call them better is uh, sonic sculptures. That's kind of like uh, takes off a little bit the pressure of them being, you know, compared to let's say a Fender guitar, or perfectly functioning other kind of instrument. Um, but, you know, I think like in anything else, it depends on who, at some point you meet somebody at her, their ideas and your ideas come together in a nice way. And this happened as I began to have a lot of dialogue and interchange with a gentleman called um, uh, Scott Hall, who's also an art professor. He has been a musician. He is a musician, but has been in a rock band in his past. Uh, he's a bass player. He's a great music instrument maker before you meeting me way before, uh, Luthier, you know, expert Luthier. And Scott and I began to have a dialogue you know, like everybody else on social media and whatnot, several years ago. And that dialogue evolved towards, you know, some projects that we were doing, he thought they were already had the germ or the potential to, to the, the genetic code to becoming music instruments, the, the form of the instruments, the, the form of certain sculptures or objects that we were doing were already deeply rhythmical in the form itself. So he thought they could automatically become artifacts and he came to our warehouse we had a warehouse back then uh, you know loft warehouse where monet studio was and he came in and brought all sorts of uh, plug-in microphones and piezo microphones connected them to this piece which was not a music instrument and and then he made it create sound and he put loops and other kind of uh, effects and pedals to it and he did like, like something like a like a cool electronic symphony out of just an object, an inert, an inert object, you know? Mm. So that was so eye-opening and ear-opening, you know, like, whoa. All of a sudden, you know, we cannot just make a really cool three-dimensional mural, but this mural can be tactile and can have a mid-sound. We did a, one of our first projects with Scott was uh, here at Embassy in the big gallery. We had the entire wall uh, converted into a three-dimensional mural, a white mural, with a lot of topological inflection, like a seventh inch thickness of variation of form. And you, there were two ways of performing it. You had a guitar as part of the performance. You take out this guitar and play it. Uh, first guitar we did with Scott, but he also, you could play with transducers, running them over the form, a recording actually a, a composition that Jacob Sudol had created, that he would run it on transducers over the form so a new, a, new, a new way of getting a sonic improvisation over the architecture of that wall. That was mind blowing for me to see that performance the first time. Like, oh, it's not only pretty, but it does way more than that. It does all these other things. Architecture is not, like, it's, it's not, has not yet achieved that. So I think there's a lot that architecture can achieve or from architecture we can achieve by making it do more as it engages with the senses, you know? in more ways with the senses interactively participate in a participatory way with the people that come to see the works and those are the kind of things that we're interested on in working nowadays uh, we're working on something called journey through the senses which is a synesthesia arts show and other concepts were really interesting but it's usually through these collaborations that uh, like like all these collaborations with Scott Hall, where with him then we did lots of different music instruments that were played all over, you know, and um, and without the influence and the knowledge of a luthier, I could not have ever, you know, um, thought even think of, of doing a music instrument. So we always need to collaborate in that regard. We're not we don't have that knowledge at Monet Studio. And um, I'm always excited to see, you know, what other um, things people know that I don't know that can create something that the world has not yet seen. <laughs>